And we have some news just coming in. Sources are telling CNN News 18 that the approach radar system was not used to assist the landing. It's the ATC which has to operate the approach radar. A computerized assist to help landing. It analyzes speed and path of travel and even suggests where to land. If there is an issue with the landing site, it's supposed to give an alternative. Manual navigational assistance was given to the flight. Runway was also not tested for friction. That is something that we've been talking about. The friction testing vehicle was not available for this flight landing. Important details, the approach radar system was not used to assist is what sources are telling CNN News 18. Zeba Varsi has more on that. So the friction vehicle not used and also another device not used, Zeba. Uh, this appears to be just another lapse. This is called the approach radar. What is it? What does it, how does it function? Tell us a little more about that. The approach radar system is a navigational system. It's an automatic computerized navigation system which essentially assists in landing. It uh, uh, it sort of un uh, calculates the wind speed and so on and so forth and, and also provides with an alternative spot if uh, the, the, the runway is not safe for landing. So that is what the automatic approach radar system does. This is operated by the air traffic control. Uh, but uh, at the same time, there are other navigational methods that are also used. And uh, ATC sources tell us that this was not used because during COVID-19, there are fewer staff who are, who, are, who are functioning, which is why at the time of this flight, the approach radar system was not available. And so ATC manually guided uh, the, the, the pilot and the aircraft uh, in, in yesterday's incident. But still, it is to be noted that the computerized approach radar system, uh, you know, which, which comes with a, a sort of a foolproof method of uh, navigating, uh, especially during landing, that was something that was not used in this particular flight, which met with a tragic accident. Yes. Uh, why was it not used, uh, Zeba? Any information on that front? Well, yes, I did take that question to my sources in the air traffic control. And uh, what we know now is that uh, we, are, uh, we are using the approach radar system sparingly due to COVID-19 because there are fewer number of staff for operation. So there's a NOTAM that has been issued. And as for the NOTAM, uh, during this particular flight, uh, the slot was not available. So the approach radar system was not functioning during the time this this particular flight uh, was landing, which is why uh, uh, manual navigation was done by ATC and the approach radar system was not used. Uh, I'm also learning from my sources in ATC that the approach radar system is usually used, uh, you know, when there's high flight frequency, there are many flights uh, landing around the same time in the same perimeter of the airport, which was not the case here. But still, it was a, a bad weather condition, heavy rainfall, and, and a computerized foolproof system, uh, which, which sort of determines uh, navigation for, uh, you know, as assist in landing was not available. And that is, uh, that is sad indeed, uh, because uh, this, this aircraft ended up having an accident. You know, possibility of human error is something that will be looked at even more closely, given the fact that you're saying that uh, the navigation was done manually. If it is done manually, obviously, chances of human error, that is something that has to be looked at, isn't it, Zeba? Well, uh, it is too early to speculate mm. whether it was human error, whether it was technical error. Uh, but, but uh, uh, you know, when it comes to uh, ATC, they say that there are many navigational methods uh, that are adopted. Uh, and ATC's job is to facilitate landing, is to guide the pilot and the aircraft uh, to a safe landing. Uh, and that is something that they do, uh, adopting various methods. So even if the automatic approach radar system was not used, there were other methods that were used. But uh, the approach, uh, the uh, automatic approach radar system is something which is computerized. It has set guidelines, uh, you know, that are that are in place. It, it map, maps the, the wind speed, it maps the suitability of the runway for landing and that not being available is certainly unfortunate uh, because it did turn tragic in this particular case. That's right. Earlier also, in fact, uh, you had told us, Zeba, and we'll just come back to you for more on that. But uh, Neetu, uh, like Zeba has been pointing out and so have you that as far as this particular runway is concerned, it's a tabletop runway, obviously considered to be one among the riskiest really in the world. All tabletop runways have problems. As far as this particular